Good day everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to create the simple messaging app with call function. So I have here text box wherein the user will be able to input his username, a button to save his username, a text box for the message of the user, and the send button to send the message. Okay, and those messages will be seen in the list view component. All messages that will come from all users that have this application. And I also have here a button, okay, that will be able to delete all messages in the list view. I also have here a text box, which the purpose is that the user will be able to input contact number. Okay, say for example, they wanted to know the contact number of one of the member, okay, of this social application. And then he will be able to input the contact number here and click on the call button to be redirected on the phone call application of the device. Okay. And we also have here non-visible components. One is phone call, okay, for, have, for us to have the phone call function for this button. And of course, the cloud DB, okay, wherein we will, all the data, the messages, the username of the users will be stored, okay, on the database cloud DB. And then all retrieval will also come from CloudDB. Okay, so let's start adding functions for these components. So first we have to initialize global variables. Okay. One for the list. Okay, let's set it as chat because the list view will contain the messages from our users okay so we'll set it into an empty list second is the name of our users or the username we'll set it into blank and then the message to be sent Okay, we'll also set it into blank. Okay, the next thing to do here is that whenever okay, the user clicked on save button, the text on the text box sender okay, should be saved. Okay, so to do that, we should set the global name into the text input of our user on the sender text box. Okay, and then next one should be whenever our user should click on the send button, okay, our global message should be set on the text okay or whatever value our text box message has okay so let's set it not on text but okay the data itself okay text box for the message Okay, so here, the name of the sender, the message of the sender will be set as the value for global name and global message. And we could now append those data on our cloud DB. Okay, so to do that, we should call okay, our database to append those data the name and the message of our users 
Okay. So, we'll have to set a tag for this example. Let's put it as BSIT. Okay. And then, what are the values to be appended or to be added? So, we have here, okay. We should set, okay. So, whatever value we'll get here will be seen, okay, in our list view. Who was the sender and what was the message of the sender? So, we will get the value of our global name and then the value of the message. And then, I just want to put here some space okay, between the two. Let's say, okay, that's one. Okay, so what will appear in our list is that the name and then this one that will serve as the space and then the message of the sender okay so now what if that sender wanted to send another message so that would be different from the first message but we do not want the first message to be deleted yet okay so to do that Okay, so we should set, okay, the data as change for the cloud DB. And then, we will get whatever chat, okay, uh, or whatever message the user wanted to send. Okay. Of course, we have to get whatever value. Okay, the sender will send. And, of course, we have to set it on the list. Okay. So, we have to set it for the elements of the list okay. this one which will be whatever okay whatever changes the sender would like to do but that change means the sender we will send another message without deleting his previous message. So for this code, the list will be changed already, but it will not be shown yet on our list view. Because, okay, so for us to view the, the changes, we have to initialize first the screen. And then we'll call on our database. We will get the new value, okay, or all the values that were appended, okay, on our tag. Okay, and our tag was this one. And then if we won't have any retrieval, then we'll leave the list as empty. Okay, next. Now that our screen was initialized, CloudDB was called, okay, we will now show whatever changes has been done on our database.
Okay, so we'll just do the same thing as this one. Okay, because we already got the value from our database. Okay, and then we'll set. Okay. Okay, so what's next? Okay, this one. So we have to set function on our delete button. So whenever we click on delete button, of course, what we wanted to do here is that we have to clear the list. We have to clear all the messages that was sent by the users. Okay, so we have to call the database. Okay, and clear the data from the tag that we have set. And that is this tag, BSIT. And then we will set our global chat into empty list. Okay, for our list to be emptied. Okay, and then, so we'll go here now on our phone call function. Okay, uh, but before that, we have to set, of course, the elements, okay, on the list view to be the value of the global chat which was already empty okay so for the call button so whenever we click on the call button okay we should set the phone call number into the text that the user has input. The text, okay, so the contact here. And then we will call the function of the phone call. Okay, so we have here two function, make a phone call. So if we choose on this one, whenever we click on the call button, we will be redirected on the default phone call application of the device. Yet we have here another function, make phone call direct. So the output will be, if we click on the call button, then the call will be rendered immediately. Okay, but for this example, let's do this one okay so for you to check on the output of this application the link of the apk file will be put on the comment section thank you so much for listening and god bless everyone